Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today I'll be testing the release candidate for ASET Smart Security version 6. And it looks very much like uh, what it looked like during the beta. They've reached uh, RC, means uh, not a lot of changes are going to happen. Now the anti-theft, this is something new that they've introduced, I've not enabled it. It's basically a module which protects you from uh, you know, being a victim of uh, somebody stealing your laptop. So all it does it is it helps you track your laptop in case somebody just steals it. So I'm not using a laptop, so I don't need that. Now in the setup, we still have real-time document uh, protection, removable media protection, and HIPS is still inactive if we take a look at the settings. It is enabled, but filtering mode is set to automate with rules and there's only a few rules here and that's it these are all I've added all these rules so this is the only one rule that they give you by default just to allow all your drivers nothing else and the order of evaluation is rules and everything else is set to allow so it's going to allow everything if you set it to interactive mode you're gonna be troubled with hundreds of questions and it's just going to go nuts so I'm not going to enable this and policy based mode basically just everything's gonna crash so in order to use this module if any of you want to use it uh, the only way is to just set it to learning mode use it for about 14 days and then maybe come back to interactive mode that way you'll be given some options and at least uh, your system files won't be you know blocked or something and you'll be able to use this although it doesn't make much of sense because uh, you're gonna get a lot of alerts uh, no matter what application you execute so right now this is unusable for me at least and the rest of stuff is uh, just as it used to be stealth protection I haven't messed with any of the advanced settings Let's take a look here but I think I will change uh, some settings in here I'll enable detection of unsafe applications and I think I'll have to go into the options and enable the advanced heuristics maybe not but I'll change this to strict cleaning because by default he said is really lenient and uh, it doesn't like a lot of false positives so they set it up that way but I need to check out their stuff so I'll just set everything to strict and that's basically all that I'm going to do rest of stuff will be set to stock and that's basically it so this is the application looks pretty decent uh, it's a very easy to use interface you can go in tools they do give you running process which is kind of like kill switch it gives you if uh, the risk level of different programs and you can terminate them I guess if you want right click doesn't do anything maybe not it's pretty strange uh, they don't let you terminate anything unless I haven't figured that out so let me just show you that it's up to date it should be and it is so now I'm going to start the test let me just open up Internet Explorer and here I've got some really nasty stuff all of these are low detection rate zero day malware so we should uh, you know give ESET a tough job to do okay first one is a JS frame DK Trojan connection terminated and the object was quarantined 
First one was successfully blocked. Second one's also caught by the web blocking. It's great. Okay, here's another JS frame and this was blocked as well. Blocked in quarantine. So, so far so good. Here's a Trojan downloader. Okay, this one was caught by the signatures. The offline ones, I guess. Here's another Trojan. Okay, this one, it wants me to reboot to clean this. I'll reboot after the test is done. This is a Win32 injector and it was blocked. This one's caught. Here's another zip file packed with the Trojan. Okay, this one is also blocked. Okay, here's some uh, low detection rate rogue. Okay, let me just uh, hold on here. I don't want uh, the system getting wrecked. So we'll try that out uh, at the end. Here's the JS Trojan. This one is blocked. All of this is low detection rate stuff, so it's great to see that EZ is doing so well. Here's another Trojan. I think this one had a detection rate of 4 out of uh, 40 engines and this one got caught too so that's really great. So now let's try out this rogue great anti-spyware. Let's see what it does. Okay that was the last file. Okay this one's caught. That's pretty great. Trojan downloader and it's caught and removed. So every single infection was caught. So I'll just uh, reboot as he said requested me to and then I'll just uh, grab my files. So I'll be right back. I just did a scan with Hitman Pro to make sure that the system's clean and it is. So now before we proceed I just want to take a look at the memory usage from ESET and it's uh, quite heavy on the RAM at least uses uh, two processes and they're using it about right now it's using about 57 megs which I have to say is quite quite a lot for just antivirus software I mean most security suites use about 20 to 30 megs. 50 is uh, a little bit high, but then again, he said is one of the lightest I've ever seen. So it's not just memory usage; it's just part of the story. So overall, I think he said is really light, and it's ment maintained that over the years. So I wouldn't call this heavy at all. So now I'll just grab my malware files, and I'll temporarily disable he said, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm back with my files and I've got 200 pieces of malware. These are all really fl fresh and uh, low detection rate malware so anything above 80 is decent. And I've enabled all kind of detection on ESET. I mean I've enabled, okay, made a mistake there. I should have hit clean files. Yeah, so that should do it. And I've enabled all kinds of uh, threat detection like I've enabled potentially unsafe applications, PUPs, so it should catch all that it can. So let's see what's the best that they've got when it's uh, detection of files. So I'll be back when the scan is over. 
the scans complete and ESET says it successfully removed 199 objects so let's see what's uh, left over in this folder and we have 21 items so we had total of 200 that's a detection rate of about 89.5 percent which means it's uh, almost a 90 so it's pretty good in fact on these files so very good and remember this scan does include participation of uh, ESET's cloud that is threat sense because if you go into the settings and you select on-demand scan it does have uh, you know threat sense engine parameters set up so most probably it is uh, checking these files in the cloud and I think that's what has taken their detection rates up quite a lot so I mean that's about it for this review uh, I know I could have ran these files but then again it doesn't have anything against these files no zero day protection other than the cloud so I won't be doing that maybe in the full version we'll give it a try so th thanks for watching this little video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I'm waiting for the full release and hope you guys are too and we'll take a look at it then and maybe We'll see how it does against files that it doesn't have signatures for. Most probably it's just going to let them through, and that's why I'm not wasting my time. So that's it. Talk to you guys later.